the Adams family. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. I'm bringing you the Adams family. Um, went and saw that. Uh, and let me just say, if you grew up with any of the Adams family beforehand, um, they, they stayed so true to uh, who they are and that kind of stuff. Um, and it, it, like that, that group, that family and that kind of stuff, like it was all there. Um, if you didn't know anything about the Adams family, I will say you're probably going into it confused, like not really sure what you're about ready to witness or um, it, they don't really dive too much into who they are and how they kind of created and that kind of stuff. I mean, they do kind of establish um, in a very quick and short way about, you know, them, but not, not really to the point like you, there's still a, just a lot of mystery about who they are and that kind of stuff. And cause it's more about the story that's current in the movie and that kind of stuff. And so, um, but if you've seen any kind of Adams family, whether it was the original sitcom and that kind of stuff, or, um, I think they made two movies back in the nineties. Um, I probably should have looked that up beforehand. Um, and, uh, they, that's actually what I'm more familiar with was those two movies and, um, can't even think of any actors from that movie. Um, other than, uh, I think that's kind of where Christina Ritchie kind of got her start. I could be wrong about that, but she was Wednesday in those two movies. And, um, and so I, that's basically my base knowledge of the Adams family. And, uh, so in this movie, uh, some, some things that I wasn't a huge fan of is like, like I kind of said, um, it wasn't really kind of diving in like backstory wise and that kind of stuff. Um, it was so quick and brief. You still don't fully know or anything like who are they, where they come from and that kind of stuff. And, um, cause even when they just start bringing in other people, you know, like uncle Fester and, um, cousin it and that kind of stuff, like, you just don't really know. It's like, okay, where do they come from and that kind of stuff. So, um, there's a few things like that where it's just like, it just skipped over as like, if you're supposed to already know it and for the most part, like the Adams family has been around for a while and, um, sorry, I'm on a very uh, bumpy road right now. So, um, giving you that motion to feel like Jim Carrey and you know, when nature calls, driving on that smooth road, bouncing all around. <laughs> um, anyways, sorry, squirrel. Um, so yeah, they don't really touch on that. And since Adam's family hasn't been around like recently, like I think there's going to be a lot of people who just don't really know who they are and that kind of stuff. And, and so there's a little bit with that. Um, another thing that I didn't fully like is, um, it, there was, I saw it 3d and there was absolutely no reason to see it 3d. I will say I didn't know I was seeing it 3d. Um, I sat down, they didn't even hand me 3d glasses. I sat down and the trailer started and I'm, I'm like, wow, this is a 3d movie, you know? And so I will say there's absolutely no point in seeing this movie 3d. And with that being said too, the, uh, overall the movie itself, uh, had, so this is where I'm going to kind of transition to what I didn't like, but also what I did like is, um, it, it there was a lot of it that just kind of seemed pointless with the movie, but at the same time, I laughed way more than what I was gonna, well, what I was anticipating to laugh in the movie. Let's get it that, uh, you know, uh, clear that up. Um, I kind of went in there just not really expecting much and yeah, I just started laughing way more than I was expecting. So, um, it is, uh, it's venture, you know, it's, it's made for kids and that kind of stuff, but it's also got humor for the adults and things. What I will say for the kids side, now that, I, <clears throat> now that I just said that, um, if you don't know much about the Adams family, let me just kind of give you some kind of backstory. Um, they are, they embrace, uh, uh, what we kind of deem as more like the dark side of things and that kind of stuff, you know, like they'll talk about seances, you know, like 
there's a witch in the family, there's, you know, they, like, that's just their world, you know what I mean? Like, the ghouls, the underworld, and that kind of stuff, like, um, you know, so, you know, you're gonna see somebody, you know, you know, throw knives at each other, you know, shoot crossbows at each other, you know, purposely electrocute somebody, like, these things will happen, and so if you do have kids or something like that, and um, you think that could actually uh, uh, portray a negative um, uh, reaction from your child and stuff like that, then definitely tread this movie carefully because uh, you see kids doing things, you see adults doing things. Uh, it's very natural for this family to do it. They don't really establish like, yeah, this person could, you know, uh, you know, get shot in the head with a crossbow, but be completely fine. You know what I mean? Where in real life, obviously that's not, uh, realistic. So, uh, they don't, they don't fully establish a lot of these things, you know, that kind of stuff. Like there, there's explosions and things like that. Um, but everybody's fine, but they never really explain like why and that kind of stuff. So if I, I guess I will try and tread into that a little bit. Like I went into the movie knowing that, um, about the Adams family. So it, I guess if you don't know that side of them, or if you think your kids would maybe embrace some of this, uh, violent, uh, uh, playing around kind of thing, um, maybe this movie isn't for them. Um, I will say there was a kid, uh, so next to me was a father and he had a kid next to him and, or his kid, his kid, I'm assuming, <laughs> Hopefully he didn't just have some random kid. Um, that'd be awkward. Uh, <laughs> so he, this kid though, probably, I don't know, seven, nine. Um, I don't have kids. I have no idea what ages are. They, uh, I mean, this child was laughing just as much as I was. Um, there's even a, that reference in the movie where, you know, you see Wednesday holding this balloon and the mother, uh, she's just like, well, normally, you know, there's a murderous clown on the other side of these. And that kid, like we're all thinking it or whatever. This kid, seven, nine years old, he's like, it, eh, it, eh, you know what I mean? Like he's already referencing um, a murderous clown movie. And so um, I do think, you know, uh, the families and parents will need to try and uh, figure that avenue out with their kids and that kind of stuff. So overall, um, I actually enjoyed the movie. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a movie I'd go see again. Um, or necessarily go out of my way to see. I, I do think though, you know, they kept true to who the Adams family are and I give them props for that. Um, they had some clever ways of making you laugh. I really enjoyed it. Um, but overall, I loved the music. Um, I don't think this is a spoiler, but Lurch is questionably some of the coolest moments of the whole movie. Um, I don't want to say anything more than that. Um, so just go in there knowing that, uh, and, uh, so yeah, with that, that's kind of just the quick movie review of this. Um, so I think if you like the Adams family, if you know, you grew up with them or if you know enough about them and that kind of stuff and, uh, and you think, you know, if you have kids or anything like that and think they'd be fine with all the Adams family, uh, <clears throat> activities that they partake in, um, I think you would definitely enjoy this movie. It, it's, it could be a movie where, you know, oh, let's go do a family night. I think this could definitely work for that. Um, I think if you don't know much about them, you're going to kind of just be like, oh, it's a typical movie. Um, I will say, though, just remind you, there is no point to see this movie in 3D. So, um, so if you do want to go see it, you know, you can save a few bucks by not wasting the money just to upcharge to wear some glasses because I didn't see anything that really made it stick out to us. Oh, I should see this or this made it worth it or anything like that. So um, that's just a quick movie review. Um, so there you go. You guys have it. The Adams Family.